heavyweight matchup between the natural born killer, Carlos Condit, and Donald Cerrone. Well, if any modern era UFC athlete is worthy of a Hall of Fame distinction despite having never realized a UFC title, I would submit to you Donald Cowboy Cerrone. His resume reads like a UFC record book. And he just keeps on getting better. Every time you think Cowboy is starting to get to the end of the rope, he reinvents himself. He makes some small change to his game that allows him to compete at the highest level. The run that he went on after beating Alexander Hernandez and then Coupling that with the massive victory over Ally Aquinta, you thought watching that you were watching the very best Cowboy Cerrone you've ever seen. And this is at the tail end of a career that spanned over a decade. And his new source of motivation, his son Danger, these are very legitimate championship aspirations for Donald Cowboy Cerrone, trying to move one step closer to the well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Condit is 36. Cerrone is 37. Condit is one inch taller. He will have a two inch reach advantage. All right, now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record of 36 wins, 17 losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA, Donald Cowboy Cerrone! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 31 wins, 14 losses. He stands six feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC welterweight champion, the natural born killer, Carlos Condit. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Lavin. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? Fight. All right, so here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, that's a good knee to the body there by Sharon. And that one was heavy. Here's the kick blocked by Condon. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Little These kick. guys throwing early. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there, and might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off yeah. the center line. He was landing one before, now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight, lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Real nice body kick lands. Splits the 
guard lands the right hand. Oh, just misses with the kick. Right hand punches the clinch. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Cerrone gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Time the shot pretty well here early, DC. He's doing it. Oh, oh, nice job to catch the leg. He saw that strike coming and now works it into a takedown. So now he has the fight to the canvas. Let's see what he can do with it. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. He's got his hand looking for a guillotine show. He's that guillotine. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And he's out. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Back mount now. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Condit's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Oh, that's a good right hand. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling could really be entertaining. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back DC where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Cerrone gets back up, back into his comfort zone. He engages in the single collar tie. Keeps the elbow there. The natural born killer gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Close guard. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Outstanding kick there by Condit. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Yeah, he mixed it all up. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. 20 seconds to go in round one. Kick to the body by Cerrone. Final seconds. Really good body trick. Round two coming up next. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action. And if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure takedown after takedown. Second round underway. That was in. Nice strike. Right. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Effective punch 
there by Khan. Oh. Oh, and he caught the kick. All right, so he catches the kick and promptly counters with the takedown and puts him on his back. Nicely done there. He knew exactly what he was doing. He knew if he had an opportunity to secure a leg off of a kick, he would go right. Oh, catches the leg here and now goes for the takedown. It's there. Oh, and he's back up again. Those get-ups have been there for him all night. Man, what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press this. He's got to go take that finish down now. Oh, big left. Nice leg kick. Throwing haymakers out of the exchange. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Oh! Combinations here. News hurt. Serve him up. Go we'll get him. Well, he's... Oh! Oh! He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Oh, big left hook there. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Signs of bruising now on that left thigh. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like him. Oh! What a fan. Oh! He's out! Whoa! Whoa! Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Here now, Bruce Buffer Ladies with and the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 49 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by Nautil Tunnel, Cowboy Cerrone. Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You go only after 40 to win. I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? It's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.